hello, hello, hello guys. This is Super Amy Kitty and I'm doing a special video today on this channel because I normally would keep some of my cosplay stuff on my cosplay channel and stuff. So today I am going to be doing a cos my cosplay collection video on this channel. So I don't know if y'all guys can hear me because I decided to do this video standing up today because because if I sit down, I don't know if that's going to help out because I wanted to show off my cosplays and stuff. So, why I'm... Blah, blah. Okay, let's get it started. Sorry if I'm just like... So, so let's start to pick. So, the first cosplay I want to uh, show you guys is, well, the one that's like already fell apart and that I got to fix real soon. Got it right here. This is Deku bodysuit and apparently this bodysuit what I gotta say about this bodysuit this took me a couple of months to make I, I, I you probably realize a like, lot huh a couple of months why it's my first time ever doing like well I'll say like probably the second time doing like a full bodysuit and stuff because this one I didn't really I didn't really have to, I didn't really have to like modify this one because this one actually like the measurements that I had picked for this one out was really good like it was really good and stuff what I don't like about when I was making this is just that the fact that um it only stretches one way this, so this is not a four way stretch this is a one way stretch and that's really crazy because it's because um well I say it's comfortable I'll say it's comfortable in some spots and it's uncomfortable in some other areas because I feel like if I I can't move completely. I can't like do do this with my legs all around. You know, very moving a lot. I like to move a lot when it comes to body suits like this. But this one, I can't really move a lot because when I, it's hard for me to sit down in this <laughs> body suit and stuff. See, well, you probably can't see. There's like some Velcro or whatever on it. When I get close, you really can't see because there's really no lighting over there whereby the wall is and stuff. So I have to stay. I'm right here because I got my LED lamp right here. We yeah, obviously, we yeah, have see and stuff. I'm sorry if my lighting in my room is really bad. I would have to get me a ring light instead of just my lamp. I need like a ring light for my camera to be and stuff. So I got like Velcro on here just for the. the I mean, some of the attachments to this bodysuit is missing. I wouldn't say it's like missing. It's like it's just like here it is. Here it is. Here's the um. Here's the hood part. There's no eyes on it. It's just for the um. I don't. I didn't really have to add the eyes to it because it was just gonna be just hanging from the back and stuff. So I have a picture. I have a picture of my cosplay of Ryan taking a picture of it and stuff. The one who took my pictures. He's a photography. If you guys wanna go check out check out his channel, I'll leave the his link in the description below and stuff. This is the shoulder parts and stuff. Yeah. And crap. The worst thing about making this costume was the gloves because look at the gloves. The gloves are terrible made because I was rushing through the gloves because there was a cosplay contest. Even though I rushed to like do this and stuff, but I mean well I actually missed the cosplay contest and stuff. And I'm just like if I miss it, it's fine and stuff. I got to show off my costume. I got a couple of pictures from people. At the convention and stuff. Okay, here's the belt too. If y'all forgetting, like, where's the belt and stuff? And this part here, this front part is attached. It's velcroed in the front too. So yeah. So I just like, oh, it's already. And there it goes. It's already falling apart. <laughs> that's what that's hot glue for you guys. So but this is the only costume that fell apart and stuff. Yeah. Well, this is this is the knee part. This go on your knee and stuff. I, well, I can't really show you guys because my camera, because I can't, this is, ah, sorry. This is the leg parts. I can't really show you guys me wearing the leg parts and stuff. This is just how I done it. So what I did is I put like two or three or four layers. I don't, I don't remember how many layers of foam I put this in. And I put like one fabric and folded it over and glued it on and I glued Velcro on it and stuff. It's either Velcro or vinyl. I can't tell. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I do apologize and stuff if I'm saying it wrong. Here's the leg parts where you could where I you could attach the uh, Velcro thing on there and what the mistake I've done with this 
reason it fell apart because of the hot glue and I went to the rave with Deku on and after I don't know an hour moments later like getting all hot and sweaty half of the costume just fell apart like this started to come off it's like the, it's like the glue started to melt off um, sweat off and stuff so the mistake I've done with this was not sewing this on attached to the fabric that's what I gotta do whenever I fix it and stuff the mask also fell apart too because it's also hot glued from the inside where you attach the velcro thing so I can ingest how I should wear it so I still got like foundation rubbed on it and stuff probably cannot really see that because of the light and stuff so I do apologize about it. so yeah the mask was well I had a little bit of help from my best friend Ari she helped me put this together as so, a and I basically did the painting and stuff. I tried to do like sh like black shadows around the the whole parts, and I'm, from far away it looks pretty good. But when it's up close, it just looks like smudge paint on it. <laughs> That's my next cosplay. And is it comfortable to wear? I say half and half. <laughs> of comfort and stuff. It's double, that's, du I made a double layer too. Double layer, I made a double layer because having a one layer bodysuit is just like kind of cold. But if you double layer, you'll be kind of warm, but then it won't be so see-through. Like if it's, it depends on which type of fabric you use to make a bodysuit. If it's one layer, it's see-through. You gotta double layer it up and stuff, so yeah. So here's the next cosplay. Here's my next cosplay. This here is my Pokemon Gold Trainer bodysuit. Well, half bodysuit. So I keep you gotta keep all your cosplays in a hanger, or you could keep some in the plastic and stuff that, like plastic zipper things, whatever you call them and stuff. So this was my second attempt um, cosplay to fix up as well, just the jacket. These are the leggings. I did not completely make these leggings. What I did is cut the sides off of them and then just add like a purple strip of fabric on on the sides and it took me two attempts to sew it because it kind of stretches and stuff and sometimes it's hard to work with stretch material and stuff the thing that I have to like had to uh, make twice I mean remake is this jacket my first jacket was the material of the jacket was it looked like cloth but I believe it was knit but I don't remember which fabric I used for the first one but it looked bad then I had said, you know what, I gotta make me another one and stuff. So I made this new one. This new one's a little better, but I should have added like some um, interfacing on the collar area because the collar area is just very floppy and this is not straight and stiff or whatever they call it and stuff. It's just flopped down. The only part I had trouble with was the collar part of sewing the collar part. So, but everything else I made on this jacket was actually challenging, especially the zipper. Zippers are like my weakness and stuff. I still gotta learn how to do zippers and stuff. And the bodysuit. This is a half bodysuit and stuff. This here, I had to like adjust this bodysuit a couple of times just because because of the size I cut it out to. The size I cut it out to was somewhat of my size, but it was too too loosey and baggy. So I had to like adjust it all by myself. Okay, what? Okay, the pattern that I got for this, it didn't come with this this purple part. I made this on my own too, as well. If you can see that, I don't know if y'all can see that purple. This purple mark. I did this on my own. I made this pattern out of paper, of course. So I looked it up because on the game, you see that your character has that little thing on the bodysuit, and they didn't actually it didn't actually come with this with the pattern that the people made for this and stuff. So I made it myself. This one was kind of a challenge to do because I have to like do this one a couple times. So is this cosplay comfortable wear around? Yes, it is. But nowadays, like when I put it back on, I be feel it feels like it feels more tighter and stuff. So what I mean by that, I feel like that I'm probably might be gaining a little bit of pounds and stuff. So. It's still comfortable to wear it, wear in public. It's, it just looks like look like like the out like uh, a workout type of outfit and stuff. Oh, crap. So yes, it is really comfortable to wear. I suggest you 
like make some cosplays that actually are comfortable for you to wear and so you don't suffer <laughs> so um forgot to ask you about this also this cosplay it's comfortable to wear it's just that it's it's a little hard to get out of because i had to unzip myself from the back and stuff but that's all i gotta say so that's just the little difficult part is unzipping yourself from the back and stuff if you're don't like the if you don't like the part of the zipper from the back i suggest you sew a visible zipper from the front so you can easily get out of it when you have to go use the bathroom as well all right on to the next cosplay all right this one here is quite obvious so let me just pull the cape out from the back because it's attached to the dress this here is my mojo jojo cosplay and i will have a picture up of showing you what it actually looks like because obviously the it's it, it looks like simple and stuff it looks like a really simple stuff this material I use is really stretchy it kind of stretches four ways kind of and stuff this is not all of it I just have the cape I have the cape attached to the dress and stuff the belt was falling apart well just the diamond part was falling apart so I didn't attach it to the dress because I wasn't sure and stuff so oops Here's the belt. Here is the belt just to show you guys. I do have, I think I put interfacing in here, so that's why it looks more neat and stuff. So yeah, this diamond part is kind of falling apart. So what I did to paint this diamond part out, this diamond actually came out red and stuff. What I like I can show you. This is what the original looked like. It was red stuff i ordered this off amazon and stuff it was i used nail polish to polish this was it nail polish it was i think i polished this with nail polish or no 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 i didn't paint this with nail polish i painted it with glue and stuff and then i like since i didn't have like any gloss type of thing i used nail polish for the gloss and stuff so i mean i could attach it to the dress but i i rather keep it in the drawer because it has to be fixed because it's falling apart. Stuff that's falling apart cannot stick to the stuff that are that are okay and fixed and stuff. So here's the headpiece. It's just one. It's like a crown and everything. It's not like a whole headpiece. I made it more like a front crown piece because this, this is a female. I'm doing the female version of Mojo Jojo and stuff. So this headpiece is made out of one one millimeter whatever centimeter I don't know like foam it's just one foam and these parts too I did the same with the with the belt part is that I paint it and then I put like clear gloss nail polish on top and stuff so I made this headpiece a couple of times just to get the shape right so I've it took me some time to make this headpiece to be honest because it it's just that I was trying to get the shape right and all that stuff I mean that's what happens when you're a beginner cosplayer. Oh yeah, and the picture there's a picture of me with like well like leggings and long sleeve. That long sleeve is actually part of my um, brave and bodysuit, <laughs> and then the bottom part is look is leggings. So that's actually extra heat wearing all that black underneath that dress and stuff. So I had the raven bodysuit on with a pair of black leggings just the get the whole thing and the white gloves is just my Luigi gloves and stuff and the makeup I've done for it is green contour because I didn't have any green face paint so I did like some green contouring around my face and black lipstick and some green and black eyeshadow just to bring out that green you know that Mojo Jojo has and stuff <laughs> so is this actually comfortable to wear yes it is and it's it's quite a bit warm too to wear too so yeah so i'm actually going to tuck this cape back in the dress so it don't drag on the floor in the closet i have to drink some water because all this talking can make your mouth really dry that's if you're talking too fast and stuff so the next cosplay that i said that i never got got to wore out in public yet is my chica cosplay okay i have a video on the cosplay channel of me working on the chica vest and it took me hours to make day to night it shouldn't have taken me that long but the reason why it took me long because 
I was unfamiliar of, you know, of doing like, see this white is putting that inside when, when you're making a vest. So, so I kind of had to in, to adjust this vest. So I had like did some hand sewing and stuff to fix it and stuff because it looked big. So this vest fits me a little better. This is this is this is something I did not get a chance to wear out to a convention yet, and that's sad. So. I went, well, this is the only vest I made. And plus the apron. The apron is cute. The apron, me and Nari worked on together as a team. We made this apron together. She even helped me put the letters on it too. If you can see the letters, let's party. Because the chica of the Fine Arts of Freddy's 2, I believe, hers says let's party and stuff. This apron you can wear and stuff. So this is something. I have a picture of me dressed up as Chica in my in my house and stuff, in my home and stuff. I never actually wore it out in public, but took a picture of it. It was more like a picture test and what it was gonna look like if I was in full cosplay. So I I have pink pants. It's just that I don't have my regular pink pants anymore because they do not fit me. A lot of my favorite jeans and pants, skinny jeans and stuff like that, do not fit me anymore because, like I said, I feel like I've been in a little bit of little fat and stuff. So, all right, this fifth cosplay is Luigi, and I should have had the shirt and the, and the jumpsuit together because I don't know why I did that. The only thing that me and my best friend worked on was this dress because this dress was just hmm, a little bit challenging to make because oh, because I had to put like inner face. So I'm going to take it off the hanger so you guys can look at it a little better because I kind of, oops, I didn't attach these back on right. But yeah, I made more blue and she made hers, she made her, hmm, sorry about that. She made hers more jean wear, more realistic. She made her jean um, jumpsuit with the shorts. I made mine with the dress and stuff. And you can see well, there's some. And was it fun to make this? Yes. So yeah, this was the only thing that me and my best friend wear. I mean, made together and stuff. Cause we were going to some convention in Niagara Falls, and I just had to get this done because I was the only one who wasn't all the way done with the work and stuff. So she kind of helped me out and stuff, and then I finished the rest. Of them. And the shirt, this is a kid's shirt. <laughs> oh my god! And it's such, it is a size large in the kid's shirt. I couldn't find any other color, any any other coloring shirts that was like anything that was for me. This is a kid's shirt in a large and stuff. It fits me snug, good and stuff. I bought two of the same shirts because the other one I made into the hat is so it can match because you don't want it because I didn't want to get anything that was mismatched so I wanted to get something that matched the hat so I made the hat in the same green shirt as the one so it could really match the outfit is I'm not about to put this on because of my ears the hat was easy to, easy to wear I mean easy to do you just have to look up a tutorial how to make it and stuff so I put foam in this cat part so it will be more to shape and stuff. I plan to do another Mario cosplay in the future probably, but not right now. And we're going on to the sixth one. The sixth one y'all probably might like. The sixth one that I have, oops, all the hangers back together. The sixth one that I have is this Organization 13 jacket. And guess what? This does not fit me because of my height look it if you put it like down here like the jacket it, it, it lands down here like if it goes up here like the bottom part is gonna show my ankles and stuff so hold on this is a low quality made cosplay because these chains are just regular chains hanging down it's not like the more detailed chains that you see in the video games and stuff. So it's 
this very cheap. This was like at least hundred something dollars, I believe. And he was like, I don't want it no more. You can keep it. I kept it. Try it on. If it if it snubbed, it's just that the fact that it's too small on me. <laughs> the sleeves are too small. My arms my arms are longer than this. Like like my arm, you will see my arm out and stuff. So you know what say like they arms like like the sleeves go all the way down to their wrist in the video there. And then the bottom bottom part of the jacket it lands all the way down to their feet well not all the way down to their feet it just shows down to your ankle and stuff mine and then i had got a comment on my instagram saying that like saying that oh you got a baby face you have not changed one bit i mean and she said i got good jeans like i guess i do i guess because i'm like i like i look young but i'm not as young as people see and stuff so <laughs> Yeah. The gloves, the gloves do not match the jacket at all. They're just regular black winter gloves. And the boots, I have the boots in the closet. I'm not going to get them and stuff. Because I wanted to show you cosplay, but I'm not showing like the whole shoe collection and stuff like that. That's not the real ones and stuff. And I believe this is the seventh one right here. The seventh one. The seventh one is my pink raven, happy raven and stuff. So these are the new leggings. I mean, not leggings, tights. I had a other pair of tights. Those ones were too dark. So I got these in a lighter color just to match the face paint a little more. And I'm gonna detach the cape because it snaps on from the front. So I can show you guys the bodysuit. So this was the bodysuit I used for my um, Mojo Jojo. <laughs> so yeah. This bodysuit. Well, I did not make this bodysuit. But it did need it to be adjusted in the bottom part, though. Because it's stretchy, but it's cloth, but it's not spandex. So this is like stretchy. I don't know. I'm not about to read all the bad. But this, I could have got this in the black spandex so it would look more high quality and stuff. The thing I made was this cape. This cape was actually fun to do. Me and my best friend worked on this cape. I have a video of us making this cape on my other cosplay channel. So if you guys want to check it out, I will pop the link will be in the description below. Everything's gonna be below. So and this cape is kind of slowly falling apart right now just because this type of fabric no unravels easily. So I'm gonna put this on for you guys. So this cape is very long. Can I show you guys the bottom because obviously it's of the bottom. Just showing you guys what I look like morning crib. I look like Robin Hood. <laughs> Little red riding hood. But anyway, is it comfortable to wear this cosplay? Yes it is. This is that's a fact that I'm not used to like I'm not quite used to wearing like cosplays that that kind of show off your legs and that you're like half revealed. This from the waist down and stuff, like your legs are showing and everything. I wasn't used to doing that yet, but as long as you wear like tights and stuff, I mean you're fine. Like if you're not comfortable of wearing something that is a little revealing, then you either don't do it or you just modify it to the way that you feel more comfortable of how you how you should wear it and stuff is what I mean. So this is comfortable to wear and it's quite warm in some ways and stuff. And I believe this is the eighth cos. Well, I don't know if this is, but this is like, you know, y'all guys know what this is. It's one of those anime uniform looking out like stuff. I got this off of, I forgot. I'm gonna have the word up of which I'm talking about because I don't remember. It's, it was picky, picky something. I, and this here is quite stretchy it's very comfortable the top is comfortable it stretches really good and the skirt all right i gotta tell y'all about the skirt when y'all getting when y'all ordering something from somewhere that is kind of far away like tokyo japan or china you gotta order a size up because their body type is different than uh, us in the, in the united states size are different it's kind of getting tight around the the butt area and stuff so yeah so I'm trying it on for you guys just to let y'all know. But when whenever y'all order something off the website, 
I zip it up. It's not zipping up. You see that? Like when I first wore this, I could put it on. I had, I could put it on and stuff, but I'm a little chunky now, a little bit. So yeah, this skirt is way too short now. So look, I could only zip it up from, from about this much. Hold on. See how short that is? And it's really tight up here. I can't pull it down. I can't pull it down even more because I'm, I'm a little thick and a little chunky around the stomach area and stuff. So this skirt is really short. So if you guys get like this on their website or whatever, order a size up or order another size up. Just because of the waist is very tight on me even though I'm a medium size. The top, you, you don't have to change the size of the top. Because the top is also a size medium and that fits me well as well. It's just that when it comes to skirts, yeah, I gotta watch out. Because this is quite short in the back. It goes down like that. It goes down like a hill. If you're wearing like, something like this at the convention, make sure you're wearing like, like shorts or something. Or, or leggings or tights. Anything that does not show so people do not, do not stare. Yeah. You don't want to run into those type of people and stuff. So yeah, the skirt looks cute and everything. So is it comfortable to wear? Not anymore because this skirt could barely fit me now than the first time I had it on the first when it came out when I first got it in the mail and stuff. I'll say the top, the top you could wear. If the skirt, you gotta get a double size up in these because we people in the US are quite Okay, here's number nine. Number nine is this probably no more no more. So, Mari was the one that made these wings. So yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the crown and the wand, because I still have them. It's the crown. Mari was the one that made these crowns and they're kinda dusty because they've just been sitting out for a long a long time. And you're wondering like who this wand is. It goes into the wig and stuff. I do not have the wig no more because she lost the wig and she either lost the wig or is somewhere, I don't know, whatever. So I'm afraid that cosplay is probably going to be gone because I only did Wanda because she needed a Wanda because she was Cosmo. I don't know so much about Cosmo and Wanda because I didn't really watch much of it as a kid. So I do apologize about that, like, oh, you didn't watch that, oh, you suck. But it was comfortable to wear and stuff, because I just had, like, leather black pants with just that shirt and the wig. The wig was also a little hard to do because her hair is, like, curly, really curly and some spots and all that stuff, so I not really liked it to do the hairstyle. So here's the last cosplay. I think this is number 10. I believe it's number 10. And, well, the shorts are not, the, the shorts are in the drawer and stuff. This here is Sasuke. In the court. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, Sasuke, really? I want to say Sasuke is my favorite Naruto character. Sakura was one of my, one of my favorite Naruto characters. Somewhat. Until, um, eh, yeah, somewhat. She's somewhat of one of my favorite characters. So, reason, well, let's say about this cosplay. My boyfriend gave me this cosplay as well. He had a lot of cosplays that he bought offline or I don't know, whatever. This was like years ago back in high school and stuff. He had a bag full of old stuff. He had like some, a lot of, well I wouldn't say he had a lot of stuff. He had like a lot of other stuff. He had thought I could fit them. Most of those I cannot wear because he's smaller than me and stuff. But the shirt fit me. This Sasuke shirt fit me. So I made my, the shorts, the shorts, I, um, these shorts here kind of match. The, the outfit yeah it kind of does match the uh, whole thing his his outfit his black outfit in the um, anime is it's like a it's, it's like a jumpsuit or whatever. I don't know so I made it two piece because it ain't that's how it came that way so, so I made these shorts well I didn't make them all the way I just cut them and then hemmed the bottom and stuff and the arm pieces and the straps are in the bag and so is the headband I'm not gonna take all that out because I don't want to, like, get all this stuff on. The shoes, the, uh, Naruto shoes, the Sasuke shoes, they're in the closet. 
those those shoes are kind of falling apart and it was comfortable to wear too was comfortable to wear and uh huh i think that's all i have to say i didn't really i only wore him like once so um there's another cosplay that is missing so that's probably 11 i will mm, it's the koski cloak i had two but my boyfriend said he gave the other one to his friend or whatever and i gave and the one no he had the other one and i had one too and i gave him the um toby cloak one with the hood so he has that one so i don't have it here right now so it's still at his house and stuff so he took that one back so that's it for this video guys that's all the cosplays so the total of all my cosplays is probably about like 10 or 11 I'll say it's not really a lot because some of these I might actually, especially the Wanda one, I just might trash this one because I don't wear that one anymore and stuff. So there will be new ones in the future and stuff, but right now I am focusing on trying to open up my ESTY shop. So yeah, I wanted to yeah, open my shop up. Yeah, it's like, oh wow, you're going to be opening up your shop? I'm not going to be opening up too soon. Oh, I might open it up soon. It's just that I still got to get things that I need first before starting it up. And also coming up with a title and stuff. So it's a thing that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be my hobby. It's going to be my job and stuff. I like sewing. I like making stuff. So it's, it's going to help me out, improve my skills a little better. It's a slow process, but I'm going to have to learn a little more and stuff. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you like this video. And please subscribe for more videos in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.